What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And in this question, what we've got to do, we've got to find this limit. Limit as x approaches five of log base two over three of x squared minus two x minus 15 over x squared plus 17 x minus 110. Now, first thing to note here, can't do a direct substitution because if we take this x value five and we plug it in here, we would get a denominator of zero. So unfortunately, we can't go that route got to pick a different strategy. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to use the properties of limits to start off. Because notice that this is a composite function. We have a rational function here within a log function. So the log function is on the outside. And so just in general, if you're dealing with a limit of a composite function like this, Basically, this here is equal to f of the limit as x approaches a of that function inside. So it's like almost you could distribute, quote unquote, this limit inside this bracket. So you could find this limit first, and then you would just take f of that. So that's actually what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to take this limit. I'm going to sort of distribute it. into this. So at this point here, we, uh, we still can't do a direct substitution, but now we got this limit that we could work with on the side here, the limit as x approaches five of this function here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to factor the numerator and denominator. So if I factor the numerator, that would be what? Uh, x minus 5, x plus 3. And if I factor the denominator, two numbers that multiply to negative 110 add up to 17, that would be positive 22 and negative 5. So that would be x plus 22, x minus 5 like that. Okay, and then from here, notice those cancel out. And now we're just left with the limit as x approaches five of x plus three over x plus 22. And now we can do a direct substitution here because that denominator won't be zero anymore. We would end up with eight over 27 like that. Okay, so this whole bracket here, that limit with this work here is equal to eight over 27. So we could just take this, plug it in for the bracket, log base two over three of eight over 27. And then from here, uh, what we can do is just simplify this logarithmic expression. So if m is equal to log base two over three, eight over 27, we can change this to exponential form. So two over three to the power of m, equals 8 over 27. Change this 8 over 27 to 2 over 3 to the power of 3. Right? 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 3 to the power of 3 is 27. And now the same basis. They got the same basis. We could drop the basis. n is just equal to 3. So this is equal to 3, which means this is equal to 3. And that ends up being your final answer for that limit.